tonight as part of the Park City uh, Film Festival, that's called the Sundance Film Festival, I think, is taking on an important health issue, which is the long road of recovery from a stroke. Dr. Kim Mulvihill is here with a first-hand look at the documentary, Stroke of Genius. Stroke of Genius. You know, when you think about it, 750,000 people suffer a stroke every year. It's yeah. just amazing. That's enough to fill 10 football stadiums. This movie strives to help survivors and their families to let them know they're not alone and to not lose hope. I could see Dan's foot, and I just started to scream. A stroke can happen to anyone at any time. It happened to Dan Mountain, one of the top creative advertisers in the country. Here is a man who had so much energy and vitality. To hear that uh, Dan had, had a stroke, it was like a waterfall stopped. After waking from a three-week coma, Dan slowly regained his speech and his ability to move. Everyone recovers from stroke differently. Dan chose to use his experience to write poems, which were adapted into songs and made into a CD and a documentary called Stroke of Genius. It'll be something that I haven't had to do again yet, and this is my first time. There's some, you know, very touching moments, but there's also funny stuff, like when Dan says to me, uh, you know, Mark, when you get back, you never get back to where you've been. You always get back to where you're going. I mean, that's kind of universal. It's a brand new day. In the blink of an eye, their life has been completely pulled apart. Diane Mulligan Fairfield is with the National Stroke Association. She hopes the movie will help dispel some of the misunderstanding that surrounds stroke and encourage survivors to fight back. The reality is that we are seeing people walk after 20 years of being in a wheelchair. We are seeing people use their arms and their hands and seeing people speak again. On the other side where we now reside, there still is need. On the other side where we now reside, there still is dignity. She also hopes the movie will spread the word that stroke is an emergency. We want to empower families to talk about stroke and to learn the symptoms. And we want to have people understand that it's not something that just happens to you. It's not a stroke of luck whether or not you have a stroke. You can prevent a stroke and you can make a difference for your family. Now, quick action makes such a difference in what type of disability or lack of disability a person will have from a stroke. And here's an easy way to recognize a stroke. It's called FAST. F is for face. Ask someone to smile and see if one side of their face droops. A is for arm. Ask them to hold both arms in front of them and see if one arm drifts down. S is for speech. Ask them to repeat a simple sentence and see if they can do that or is it slurred or do they get stuck. And T is for time. Call 911 right away. You want to treat any of those symptoms as an emergency and get the person to the hospital right away. Treatment's you know, good. Is there prevention? You know, that's really the good news about this, is experts believe perhaps as many as 80% of strokes could be prevented. If you think about it, things that are good for your heart are good for your brain. So that means if you smoke, stop. Limit your alcohol. Exercise. If you have high blood pressure, get it under control. If your cholesterol is up, bring it down. Work with your doctor. You can do things to significantly lower your risk of stroke. Very right. important. Insightful. Thanks. If you'd like to see the movie or find out where it's playing, just log on onto our website, ksl.com. We'll have all the information. And that is the Park okay. City Film and music festivals, my Park City colleagues tell me it's that's a right. and not Sunday. That's right. My and, bad. And they've I'll also, <laughs> they've also made, they're making the movie available to stroke families. Anybody who wants to see it, they can get it. So, okay. very important. Thanks. Okay.